Hey guys, welcome to this new series where we are going to do a fully functioning e-commerce website in Django. So let's get started with it. So firstly, I have just made some notes over here. So first we are going to check Python if it is installed or not. So if you are new to Django, you can just go to this website and just download the Python from here. I'll just put this link in the description. So let me just open git bash here. And here we are going to check Python version. So I have Python 3.8 installed on my machine. Next step we are going to check pip. Say pip hyphen version. So pip is also installed over here. So next we are going to create the project. So as you can see over here, inside my Django folder I have a blog and another folder. So we are going to create a new project in this folder. So let me say Django admin. So you need to install Django before running this command. So let me just show you. I just have to say pip install Django. So I have already installed it. So it's going to say requirements already met. Yeah, requirements already satisfied. So if you are installing it, so you'll get some few installs over here and it will be done. So after installing this, we need to run the command. So let me just clear this. Yes. And let me see Django admin start project and the project name. We are going to keep it as e-commerce. Hit enter and you will notice a folder over here. So our project has been created. Let me just close this and we'll say open with code. So here you'll have all your settings in this you have all your configuration. So we will be connecting the MySQL database. So just scroll down and here you have your database. We are going to use the MySQL database over here. So you can just change this from SQLite to MySQL and this name we'll give our database name over here. So I'll just open my PHP my admin and here I have created a database called Django Ecom. So I'll just give it over here. So this is my database name and then we need to give the host. So that is going to be within single quotes say local host and the user user is going to be root and the password is going to be null and then the port number so that is nothing but your 3306 so you can get this port number from your exam control panel so you can see over here double three zero six for your mysql so that's it guys our database is connected so let us just open our terminal and run our project to see if it runs without any errors so say py manage dot py run server hit enter and you can see you got this server started at this address so in your web browser you can just type localhost colon 8000 and refresh so you have got this thing the install works successfully so that's it in this video guys in the next video we are going to see how to create an app inside our project and link the url files and the templates so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you